I'm standing in a red pine plantation and that really doesn't offer the deer a whole lot. Uh, you know it can be some summer cover because wind can flow through here a little bit give them a little bit of shade but uh, you know nutritionally there's just not much here so we're going to carve out about a one acre food plot here get it logged and uh, then work on building the soil it's going to need some lime it's sandy soil and sandy soil it's got pluses and minuses um, you know the plus I would say is that it doesn't take as much lime to change the soil pH but uh, you know the drawback to that is you have to add lime more often but we'll get a soil test I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be in the fives here and it's going to take some lime and uh, you know the other drawback of sandy soil is you're kind of at the mercy of mother nature when it comes to rainfall and being able to hold uh, nutrients in the soil. Generally with sandy soil I will uh, more I will trickle um, the nitrogen rather than throw all the nitrogen down at one time because sandy soil generally can't handle as much nitrogen at one time and I don't want it to end up in the groundwater or, or just throw money away. But uh, we'll get uh, this one acre logged and uh, and then we'll clear out the slashings and it's going to be some work but I'm foreseeing that this is going to have some winter rye planted in it for this fall. tree's been taken down and now they just need to finish skidding these red pine out of here and we got a little over an acre food plot come back and I'll clear out the slashings and I think I'm going to use that to kind of add as uh, some screening as well so I'll bring the tractor in and start moving some of this stuff here in the next few days but I'm happy with uh, the size of the food plot and uh, I think it's going to going to be good. I'm standing in the clear cut, it's about an acre in size, and uh, today the idea is to start working on some of this slashing and get it cleared out. We're going to need to get a soil sample done as well, and I, I know it's going to need lime, but we'll get a food plot in here by fall. When I came out here this morning, there was actually a fawn bedded in, in some of this down material, so uh, it was neat to see some new life. 
And speaking of new life, I see some oaks popping up in here, some cherry, hazelnut, uh, milkweed, and uh, a little bit of grass here and there. But we've got some early successional habitat happening, even without creating that food plot, that just by getting the sunlight in here, uh, this area would provide, which is a lot more than what it was providing. Uh, we'll get her cleared up, get it lined, soil test, all that good stuff. But uh, it's going to take some time, it's going to take some work, but we'll get her done. Today's mission is to deal with a flat tractor tire. Not looking forward to it. Wish me luck. <laughs> 